morning, boys and girls. Welcome to our service today. Let's pray. Uh, for the dear Lord, help us today. Cover your blood on us. Help the whole church. Help uh, parents and children today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's welcome the present worship team.
Good morning, praise God children. I'm your teacher for today, teacher Jerusa Auma. Let us pray before we start. Our Father in heaven, we thank you dear God. As we are going to listen to your word, we pray that you may be with us, O oh God, until we conclude. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Our Bible topic for today, children, is about soul's conversion. And our Bible reading comes from the book of Acts, chapter 9, verse 1 to 21. Paul used to persecute people. Paul stayed in a country known as Tarsus, and he used to persecute God's people. He didn't love God's people. He used to go everywhere where he has God people and he could persecute each and everyone by killing them, by beating them. Even in the church, he was not ashamed to go even to the churches and even persecute the people that were serving God. Are you there and you are wondering what kind of this man Paul was? He was that bad. Like even us children, we are that bad, we are beating people one another. We are saying words that are not good to one another. This is what even Paul was doing. He was doing those bad things to God's people. But one day it was enough and God said to him on his way to Damascus, he was doing as normal as he was doing before to the Christians. And this time he has planned that he's going to do many bad things there. But because of God's love to his people, he didn't manage to do. On his way, just on the road, a light struck and he fell down. And he heard a loud voice telling him, Soul, soul, why are you persecuting me? And finally, he became blind. Just imagine, when you persecute God's people, God will punish you. Just as Paul was punished, he became blind for three days and he could not even eat or even see because of the persecution that he was doing to God's people. Just to encourage us children, do not persecute God's people. Do not disobey God's people because when you do that, God will punish you. God will do something wrong that you will regret just as soul. And do you imagine that day, it was a turnaround for Paul. Even his name changed from Paul to Saul. And this is the time that he realized, oh, I, I was doing wrong. His eyes were open. And now he gave his life to Jesus. Even you, you are watching me. God can change your life. From those evil things that you are doing, not necessarily to God, but even to anybody, our friends, our parents. God can change your life. Just as he changed the life of Paul, and even his name changed. And today, God is asking us to give his, our lives to him. Because he's the only one that can wash us from our sins is the only one that forgive us our sins he forgave soul his own sins that he was doing those he was persecuting god's people christians everybody but finally when he gave his life to jesus his life changed so today i want us if you don't know jesus as your personal savior children Today, God wants you to give your life to him, to give your life to Jesus so that he can change your life just as he changed Paul's life. Even your name can change from the street where you are called those funny names. When you give your life to Jesus today, your name will change from John to another name, from Onesimus, from Mary to another name, just as this way. So... His name changed from Saul to Paul after giving his life to Jesus. So, before we pray, our memory verse today, children, comes from the book of Colossians chapter 2, verse 6, which says, So then, just as you receive Christ Jesus as Lord, continue to live in him. So we are going to pray that we continue to give our lives to Jesus after saving our lives. So let's pray. 
our Father in heaven, we thank you for your word that has come to us this morning, O God. You changed Paul's life, O God, after persecuting your people. And even us, God, we are before you. We are asking you to forgive us, God. And if you are hearing me, children, let's pray this prayer. Lord Jesus, I come to you. I surrender my life to you that you may forgive me, you may wash me, and you may change me. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. If you pray that prayer, children, today onwards you are saved and God has forgiven you each and every sin. And now you are starting afresh with him. Thank you. God bless you. See you. today I hope you enjoy this dance don't forget about the memory verse may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship and the Holy Spirit give us now and forevermore amen <laughs> 